Hey guys, Professor Bill of Comic Book University, and in this week's Marvel Super Heroes Advanced Role-Playing Game System Explanation, we're going to be talking about talents. That's right, so crack open your blue book to page 89, let's get started. And this particular one is going to be a fairly long one, but I am hoping to be doing this week by week and just talk about one group of talents at a time. This week, we're going to be talking about weapons, the very first section on here. So, let's get out our size and our bow stabs and our M60s. Let's get started. So basically, a hero with these talents is devoted to the ins and outs of handling certain weapon types. Uh, as such, this person with uh, people with similar abilities who have not studied them uh, will not be quite as good as somebody with also similar abilities who have studied them. So case in point, Captain America and the Punisher both have Amazing 50 fighting. A lot of people think that... Um, Punisher shouldn't have Amazing 50 fighting. I disagree. <laughs> I've seen what the guy can do in the comic books. So, uh, the trick is he doesn't have that agility, anywhere near that agility. And what he does have instead is massive amounts of, of training with knives. Captain America also has training with knives. Frank Castle does not have training with blunt weapons. Hence, he will never be able to use that shield, even though his fighting is equal to Captain America's, as well as Captain America does. So, moving on, uh, a character who has plus one column shift with shuriken, as a result, uh, this is actually getting into a talent. The idea is that weapons talents may not be combined. Weapons talents may not be combined with any other weapons talents. You could combine them with certain other abilities, namely in the martial arts field, all right, uh, the fighting skills. There are certain ones that you can combine there, all right? Um, but you can't combine, like, let's say, blunt weapon skills with martial arts B. That's just not going to cut it. <laughs> you don't get a plus two column shift to hit with things. Um, you can, however, combine it with martial arts A, for instance. So plus one column shift is like Daredevil. He gets plus one column shift to hit with blunt attacks, and he can also stun people with a higher endurance than his strength. So... Certain things can be cross-pollinated, so to speak, and certain of them actually call for it to happen. All right, so let's, and, and mind you, weapon skills are the only skills that they specifically say you may not combine these with anything else within this category. So all the fighting skills, you can combine them. All of the, you know, professional skills, you can combine them. Mystical skills, you can combine them all with each other. Weapon skills, you may not combine weapon skills with other weapon skills. It's just the way it works. Okay, so guns. Sure, let's get right into the nitty-gritty of it. Guns. Individuals with this talent fire guns. All guns. Handguns, rifles, submachine guns, including laser guns, stun guns, concussion varieties, all at their agility rank. So, um, those with this talent fire such weapons with plus one calm shift. This should be fairly easy. Uh, this is firing a weapon. This is target practice. So, this does not necessarily mean cleaning the weapon. That's an entirely different thing. You could be a gun enthusiast, but not actually know how to clean weapons. Uh, I would consider that a repair tinkering ability. So, um, and that's just me personally, all right? If you want to say, sure, this also involves cleaning the guns, sure, sure, by all means, why not? If you want to combine this with the military talent, you absolutely know how to clean all of your all of your rifles, all of your, your handguns, all of your weapons. But when it comes to just the gun's talent itself, that's a pretty big one. You're talking about plus one column shift with any kind of weapon imaginable. And, and here's the thing. Marvel superheroes role-playing games, all of them, all of the versions, they're very open. So you have to kind of give yourself your own limitations. If you just want to say, no, I got the gun's talent, that's it. I can use any kind of a gun whatsoever. The, the stinger, yep, I know how to use the stinger. You weren't in the military. You, how would you have access to something like that? Were you a hitman? No, I'm a lawyer, but I have the guns talent, so I can also use rocket launchers and things like that. We're getting a little bit out of hand now. So you kind of have to put a limitation on yourself for the sake of storyline purposes. You want to just simply say, oh, no, I've got the guns talent, so I can, you know, fire anything. Hey, man, that's on you. Sure, get in that howitzer and just fire off, a, you know, lob off a couple rounds. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're good. You're good. You don't even need a forward observer. Uh... <laughs> <clears throat> so this is going to give you a plus one column shift to your agility for firing guns. Thrown weapons. This is a really fun one. This is thrown weapons, mind you. I'm going to get into why that enunciation. 
Uh, characters with this talent may toss weapons that are designed to be thrown, including spears, daggers, shurikens, discs, and snowballs, at plus one column shift their ability. You ever play Oriental Adventures in uh, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons way back in the day? That would be the second edition. Yeah, uh, the Shoko that the, um, who was it, uh, the Wujin could use. It's a little ball with spikes on it. That's it. It's a ball with spikes on it. You could throw those. <laughs> anything that you want, anything that you need to throw, if it's specifically designed to be a thrown weapon. All right. So case in point, uh, a, 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 a certain daggers, certain knives are not meant to be thrown. But I don't have any problem personally saying, yeah, absolutely, you could throw something like that. There's no problem with that. You know, what's the issue? Um, it may not be weighted for throwing whatever, you know, like the bayonet. Bayonet is not meant to be thrown. It's just it's not. So um, it is what it is. Uh, paper clips. No, no, no. That That's not meant to be a weapon. It's not. <laughs> All right. Uh, Batarang. Batarang is designed to be a weapon. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, anything along those lines. Uh, spears that are eight feet long. You could technically throw it, so why not? But you have to simply use your own conscious on this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no, I, I specifically designed this brick. I, I cut off some of the edges of this brick through. I could throw up. No, dude, calm down. Calm down. All right. But this is one of those that specifically states later on that you can combine this, you can cross-pollinate this one. So let's look over in on the same page, 89, on the fighting skills, thrown objects. So we're just talking about thrown weapons. Now we're gonna just really quickly touch on thrown objects. This is the hero with this talent gains plus one calm shift with all throwing attacks, both edge and blunt, and plus one calm shift on catching. This applies to both thrown weapons and normal items. If the hero has thrown weapons talent as well, this modification is plus two when using thrown weapons. So, with thrown objects over in the fighting skills, you have the ability to throw anything that includes bricks, shaved off or not, all right? Paper clips, pencil tips, whatever you can get your hands on, anything in your hands is a lethal weapon. Bullseye. So, uh, uh, keep that in mind. And also, beautiful thing, plus one column shift on catching. So this is clearly, the like if you want to throw things, this is clearly the best talent to have at the same time. If you've got the thrown weapon skill right here in the uh, weapon skills uh, section, so thrown weapons under the weapon skills section, now you're also plus one column shift if they're designed to be weapons. So if you've got both of these talents, you can breed them together, and now you pick up a brick, you're plus one to hit. Somebody throws the brick back, you're plus one to catch. If you suddenly pull out your dagger, now you're plus two column shift to hit because it's not only a thrown object, it's also a thrown weapon. It was designed to be a weapon. So it's understand. It's it's crucial to understand the wording that is used in the book. Plus two column shifts now to throw thrown weapons and plus one column shift to use anything that is not a weapon, not meant to be a weapon. It is now a weapon in your hands. All right. So psh, plus one column shift to throw and catch anything plus two if it's specifically designed to be a thrown weapon. Okay. Um, and yeah, you can actually get get silly with that. The the octagon psi that, that Electra uses. Yeah, why not? Plus two to, to, to throw that one. You know what I'm saying? Is it designed to be thrown? Not necessarily. Is it designed not to be thrown? Okay. Throwing nunchaku, that's that's where we're gonna get <laughs> into some controversies right there. So don't get too, you know, uppity about that. <laughs> um, bows. Bows are tricky items to operate such as those who have not been trained in bow, and this is the only time you're ever going to see this, not even with like surgery, all right? Um, those with this, uh, excuse me, those who have not been trained to fire bows actually fire them at minus one column shift to their ability. Whew. Those with this talent gain plus one column shift to hit with all bows, including crossbows, and may fire and reload in a single round. They may fire multiple arrows on a successful agility feat. Bang. So I want you to think about that. When you're talking about um, um, throwing multiple items and things like that, you're talking about using your, your fighting ability to do multiple attacks. But in this particular one, you use your agility to make multiple attacks. If you don't have any kind of talent whatsoever with bows, then you're minus one column shift to use bows. 
bows are a great one to have. So if, if Hawkeye drops his bow and somebody else picks up the bow to fire it at him, unless you're like, you know, the Punisher, you're not going to know how to use a bow. <laughs> all right. Um, Punisher would be one of those characters that with all of his military and weapons training, even if he doesn't actually have the bow's talent, I would still say he fires it at his agility. You know, that many weapon skills, yeah, you've picked up a freaking bow before, you know? But, um, so I would say he has some training in bows at the very least. Rambo, totally different story. Weapon specialist with those explosive tip arrows. Um... But uh, with bows specifically, you're plus one comm shift to hit with all bows, and you can reload inside of one round. So if you're going to cross cross that over to the Dungeons and Dragons world, that's high proficiency, all right? With 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 several feats, blunt weapons. Now this is just one of those catch-alls, and this is one of the things I love about the Marvel superheroes role-playing game. Uh, blunt weapons. Characters with this talent gain plus one comm shift to hit when attacking with weapons that resolve attacks on the blunt attacks column of the battle effects table. So on the universal table, if you use um, blunt attack to hit, but it's a weapon that's in your hand, boom, you're plus one comp shift to hit with it. Yeah, that's everything. Everything. So bow staves to, to nunchaku to whatever. You know what I'm saying? Now you're not going to be able to like, you know, do all the cool expert stuff with nunchaku, but you know, holding it under your arm and kind of doing those flip and hit things. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, sharp weapons. Characters with this talent gain plus one calm shift to hit when attacking with weapons that resolve attacks on the edge attack um, table. This includes swords, daggers, unless thrown, and spears, but excludes claws and other natural extensions that inflict this kind of damage. So Wolverine's claws. Eh, eh, sorry, bud. <laughs> That's a completely different field right there. No, Wolverine's claws get the shaft every single time. Every time. Um, that you've actually got to work out something else with Wolverine's claws because it seems like nothing works with Wolverine's claws, but we've seen what Wolverine could do with those claws. You know, he can cut off somebody's tie with one of the claws. He could put the claws up to somebody, you know, Professor X's face and have one claw in just a little bit and, you know, oh my God, and the other one's like right there, you know, without actually causing any blood, any kind of a scratch, nothing. Like Wolverine is an expert upon experts. That's something else that you got to resolve with your ju uh, your judge in order to figure that one out. But here in this particular case, no, does not count. <laughs> All right, doesn't count for weapon specialization. Doesn't count for uh, what do you call it? modification of weapons? Anything like that? It's the weirdest thing. So, um, uh, but f for all intents and purposes. Any kind of a weapon any, that, that inflicts edge damage that you're going to use your fighting to hit. So again, thrown weapons don't count, all right? You want to use a dagger to cut somebody, plus one column shift to hit. You want to throw the dagger, refer to a different talent, as we've already mentioned above. Okay. Oriental weapons. Um, now in this politically correct world, we can't call them oriental weapons, right? I, I don't know what you would call them. <laughs> Maybe ninja plus weapons. Uh, anyway, so this is a special category that grants the user a plus one comm shift to fighting or agility when using the following weapons. And they'll give you some, but just, you can go to more than that. But in general, shuriken, the little, you know, what they call Chinese stars, that's where I get politically correct with. The Chinese never made Chinese stars. They're Japanese stars or shuriken, throwing stars, something to that effect. Chinese stars. Man, I always hated when kids said that back in junior high. Um, <laughs> uh, crossbows, size, treated as swords. The oriental swords and the daggers, including the katana and the kris. So all sorts of weapons. And this is going to... This is basically, you know what this should say? Exotic weapons. Because I would include the Kopesh from the uh, Egyptian mythologies. I would include the Trident from Atlantean, you know what I'm saying? Or, or even the Greek mythology. Any of those, the, the, the Cestus, why not? You know what I'm saying? The Cestus, the, the, the glove with the spikes and all that stuff on it. You know what I'm saying? I would absolutely include any kind of an exotic weapon, period. Okay? Japanese ninja, the naginata, you know what I'm saying? Uh, any kind of weapon which is not common in your area of the world, um, your your television experience in general, obviously, unless you're watching like, you know, Black Belt Theater, Kung Fu Theater, that's a different story. But man, I miss that not being on TV anymore. Anyway, uh, ooh, the flying guillotine. That's absolutely, you get a plus one to hit. You know what I'm saying with that? To bash somebody across the face with it, with fighting, and plus one to throw it and, and chop off somebody's head with it, with your agility. So definitely have some fun with that. Marksman. Here's a really interesting one you should definitely consider. 
Okay, Marksman. The character with this talent gains plus one column shift to hit with any distance weapon that requires line of sight to hit. The character could, uh, so no tactical nuclear warhead. Sorry, it just doesn't work that way. Um, uh, doo -doo -doo. The character could benefit from firing heavy artillery, but not when controlling a teleguided missile. Such a weapon in the hands of a marksman does not suffer penalties uh, to hit from range. So, I've discussed this in my thrown weapons and my shooting uh, um, videos. All in all, that's under combat. Go back a couple videos, you'll find those. But to reiterate here, every time that you throw something past one area distance, you're minus one to your agility to hit. That's terrible. Unless you have marksmen. Then, there, then you, the only range you're limited to is your strength. All right, if you're going to throw the weapon or your um or just whatever the distance is on the actual gun that you're going to use. As far as teleguided missiles and things like that, computer skills. If you have the computer skills, I would say that could give you if if that's your inclination, could give you a plus one column shift to hit with uh teleguided missiles and things like that. Okay, so you do not suffer from range and you get plus one column shift to hit with any distance weapon. Thrown distance weapon, that's weapon, it states weapon, not object. Um, bows, that includes um, anything, you know, guns, anything involved, all right? But the main thing about that is the you do not suffer penalties from range. That's the reason why Hawkeye has the, um, uh, the marksman talent. That's the one talent he has. Crap, that's something I should probably talk about. You know what, I'll get to that in just a second. Weapons Master. Characters with this talent gain plus one comm shift to hit with every weapon that requires a fighting feat to hit. So basically, it's blunt weapons and sharp weapons combined. All right? You can't combine fighting skills. This skill does automatically combine those two. So you just want sharp weapons? Boom. You just want blunt weapons? Boom. If not, pick Weapons Master. Weapons Master does cost two talents to have, just like Marksman, just like a Weapon Specialist. Uh, requires a little extra to have. It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Um, and weapons specialist. Now, here's the really fun one. This is the one where you're talking about, like, the Captain America, Thor, characters like this. Black Knight. Love the Black Knight. The character with weapon specialist talent gains plus two column shift with a single weapon of choice. This may be any type of weapon, missile, or melee. The... This could technically, technically also include uh, Spider-Man's web, uh, web shooters. Uh, I'm going to get to that in a moment. Uh, the character who is a weapon specialist was, will also increase his initiative when using this weapon by plus one column shift. Okay, so you get plus two column shift to hit with either your fighting or agility or both. You know what I'm saying? Like Captain America's shield. He can hit you with it. That's fighting. Or he can throw it at you. That's agility. Your plus two column shift to wield the weapon, to use the weapon, however it is that you're going to use it. Daredevil with his batons. Plus two column shift to hit. Plus two column shift to, to throw. Uh, and for the sake of conversation, plus two column, or pl at least plus one column shift to catch it. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't say that on here, but come on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's one of the things that he does. Uh, maybe it's just an automatic thing. Oh, you know, you got a power... Yeah, it's a power stun anyway, to bounce it off of two walls or to have it come back to you like that. So maybe it's just an automatic thing. However, the judge wants to decide to do that. Um, but, you know, in my opinion, you know, like accidentally, oh, somebody goes throwing it back at you. I would say he's plus one comp shift, especially with those, to catch that. Go see the original Daredevil movie. Never mind, don't see the original Daredevil movie. But... You also have plus one column shift to your initiative when using that. So for this particular situation, maybe, maybe, maybe you could apply this to Wolverine. Maybe. You know what I'm saying? I would say yes, just because. But now we're going to take a really quick look at the front of the player's handbook. Oh, the way over here. Back in the beginning on page nine, after you talk about body alterations defense, this should actually be a huge category in and of itself. It should actually have a category header, but it does not. And huge mistake on Marvel's role-playing game systems uh, part for not having this in a bold. Because this is a huge thing that so many people wind up missing over. And I did talk about this um, a long time. I forget which video it was, but I did talk about this in extent. Um, uh, if I can remember, I'll, I'll post it right down here. Uh, the uh, powers may be natural or a result of high-tech or mystical equipment. 
Equipment the hero starts with is considered specialized for that hero. If it's a power, if it's a power. Now it says here that Wolverine's Claws, Deathlock's Armament does not count for this. But that's for that, that's for this particular part. It doesn't say you can't use that for Wolverine's Claws. So that's why I'm going to kind of, like, I'm a little iffy on that, but I always grant it. So at the very least, it's a house rule for me. Um, example, anyone can use Captain America's shield to hide behind it, but bouncing off of three walls? No, you can't get power stunts with a talent that you don't have, or with a, with a weapon that you don't have a talent in using. So if you wind up getting blunt weapons uh, talent and you come across Captain America's shield, you can use a power stunt with it as long as it's not throwing it. If you got thrown objects, sure, absolutely, you can you can do that that bouncing you know the shield thing off thing, but you have to have the talent to go with it. Uh, here, however, if it's a power, that's not the case. You basically, besides everything you do with modification chart to increase the material strength of it, excuse me, the main thing that it states here is that you can use this uh, ability modifier as as though it were the weapons specialization talent. So the really interesting, I, I've seen people on um, one of the one of the Marvel superheroes role playing game Facebook groups. Um, I don't remember which one, but uh, one of them they were talking about, or they asked the question, Hawkeye. Hawkeye has plus three column shifts to hit with his uh, thing, but you can't combine talents. So how exactly does that work? Um, I when I see too many comments, I don't bother commenting. You know what I'm saying? If it says expand more comments, I'm like, Psh, I got no interest in doing this because nobody's ever going to see this in the first place. You know what I'm saying? But if, uh, but regardless, I'll, I'll say this here. Maybe somebody there will see this and all of a sudden the question will be answered. Hawkeye uses this ability, okay, on page nine. So he has the power projectile missiles and he chose to use it as a, uh, what is it called? The, the, the natural or equipment. He, he's using it as an equipment sort of ability here. So by using this as equipment, it's something that can be dropped. That's why Wolverine's Claws don't count for something like this. You can't drop Wolverine's Claws. This is the reason why I said that you should be able to use it for Spider-Man's um, web shooters, because you can technically lose uh, the, the the web shooters. Somebody's come up, people have come along and crushed the web shooters before, or he's lost them before he's been without them. So absolutely, just because it's tied to you, Mjolnir, for crying out loud, has the thong, the unbreakable thong. You know what I'm saying? Um, very hard, to, and it always returns to him. So what? that shouldn't count. All of these things count, all right? Um, just Wolverine's claws and Deathlock's armament, things like that. Those don't count. Cold blood. Remember cold blood? He couldn't really lose his gun. So, no, doesn't count. Uh, Robocop could use his gun, so that would count. <laughs> so, either way, um, um, for something like this, Hawkeye has that ability, and he's got uh, marksman. He doesn't have bows, he doesn't have, which he might, you know, and realistically he should have bows. He should have bows simply so that he could reload within the same round and fire off with agility. So that's one of the things you have to remember with, with weapons talents. Even though you can't combine them, you can still use them individually. So, Hawkeye would use uh, this thing on page 9 for his plus 2 comm shift to hit. He can only choose one talent to use with this. Um, since he's already got weapon specialization, you figure, what, take weapon specialization again? Yeah, that's one way to do it, so he'd have plus four to hit, but then he's still gonna be, then, then anything that's past uh, four areas, you're gonna be at negative to hit anyway. So instead, he chose to take the marksman ability anyway, so now he's only got plus one to add to his weapon specialization, which is a representative from page nine, so he's got plus three comm shift to hit, plus one to his uh, initiative whenever he's using the bows, any kind of a bow, including crossbows. And he doesn't have to worry about the modification for, um, you know, distance. It can go full range. So whatever his strength is for, for launching his bows, that's how far his bows can go. His arrows can go. Like just somebody just shooting bows. Come on. So he's shooting these arrows as far as he wants to because he's got the marksman. So he's got this modified version of the weapon specialist skill, which is part of a power, and then the talent that he typically uses is marksman. But again, I would say he also has the bows talent simply because he can use, uh, or what do you call it, he, he wants the reload ability there. So when you're reloading, I'm gonna refer to the, the bows talent. 
Oh, but now I'm going to be uh, rolling to hit. No, now I'm going to be doing my typical thing with the the um, with the weapons master and the the page nine player's handbook thing. That's why that should be in bold something. There should be some kind of a title there. You know what I'm saying? Um, the 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 powers as a weapon thing, <laughs> so that I can refer to it that way instead of the page nine thing. Um, so keep all of these things in mind. Keep all of these things in mind. Um, I don't really know that there's anything else to talk about with this. There, 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 there's a lot to, to discuss when it comes to talents. And again, I love me some talents. One of my favorite things in the world to do with, with this game is just play a game where you roll up how many powers and talents and contacts you're going to get, and then you ignore the, the, the powers. Or you just transfer the powers over to talents. Or get really silly with it and say, oh, two powers count as, or one power counts as two talents. You know, say so just... And just have a game where you're just a normal human with a massive amounts of talents, you know? I like to play games like that. That's always fun. For me, that's like playing Legends of Zelda and, and never picking up any of the swords. <laughs> that's always a fun one for me. Um, you can't actually defeat Ganon that way. The arrows don't work that way. But everything except for Ganon, that right there, you demand. <laughs> so anyway... Um, yeah, consider that when it comes to talents. There's so many things that you could do with your talents. Just remember that weapons talents cannot be combined unless they specifically say otherwise. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me. Professor Bell, Comic Book University. Class dismissed. <laughs>